Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video what we are going to do is actually test out our functions and that we created inside of C++. So first of all we are going to start is by deleting all of these initializability functions and calling that single initializability multifunction and drag out from here change the promoters to variable and let's leave the name of the variable to this one and we are going to compile this and add our abilities first one is GA is for melee okay next we have our health region okay and last we have our make way okay and next we're going to also apply our loose gameplay tag to our character so drag out from here and say add loose gameplay tag and i'm actually going to create a new tag for this and it's going to be source and character ability and health regen and i'm going to call this full health okay this one and what i should rather do is actually check on begin play that if our health is full then only then we should apply this tag and for example we are spawning with half health or something like that so i'm actually going to create a function is called this check full health and I'm going to remove this from here and push it over here. What I'm going to do is say get health values. If I'm going to check if this health is greater than or equal to our max health, what I'm going to do is oops, check. And if this is true, we're going to apply this tag. And just to test the functionality, what I'm going to do is actually print a string and say health full uh, okay and on post what I'm do is say tag not applied okay this is just to test it out and what I'm do is actually call this on begin play and press it over here but I have been having some difficulty getting this to work properly we need to use a delay over here uh, it's about like uh, two seconds so that our function begin play loads up properly the RWL system component and this function is called after that my system crash you might have different results if you don't use delay okay so first we're going to check this out that our abilities work and we have our tag applied okay it shows our health pool I'm testing my melee ability I have my melee ability and I can activate my make ability Okay, so things are working and now let's actually test if we can block our ability activation based on this tag so going back to our base classes abilities health regen open up ga health regen and i'm going to say activation block tag the tool tip reads abilities block if the activating actor has any of these tags okay then do is call that tag vector ability health regen and full health okay so now let's test it out that if we can actually activate this ability our tag is applied i press the one key i cannot activate my ability but let's see if i take some damage i still cannot activate my ability this is because this is a loose gameplay tag and we need to remove this tag manually ourselves so for this what you can do is going back to our event graph i think we have that event uh, yes over here we can use this event on health change for this. What we can check is if our new value of health is less than our max health. If our new value is greater than or equal to our max health, we're going to branch out from here. Okay, so if it is greater, we're going to add that full health tag I'm just going to add lose gameplay tag and it's going to be our full health and if it's not greater than or equal to we're going to remove and lose gameplay tag and the tag is going to be this one full health okay and just to test this out I'm going to actually drag this over here and do a print string 
I say tag applied and over here and I do the same and call this tag removed okay and now what you should see is that I cannot activate my health region ability but if I walk over this it's reading tag removed because this is an up damage applied over time so it's going to keep printing that and once I press my key my health is not full so it's going to say tag it doesn't say anything uh, let's change this health region to something better okay this is linked up to our ability um, okay let's acquire this ability at level 5 uh, where is it this one on this and this ability level is going to change the ability of the all of these abilities that are present over here so this level is going to apply to all of these abilities okay let's test this out once again okay tag has been removed and if i press the one key you read tag applied okay so i cannot activate my health region ability once again okay so this is the way that you use your um, add loose gameplay tag and remove loose gameplay tags okay so now let's uh, actually change the ability levels by using their tags let's acquire these abilities at level zero once again and actually define our few inputs over here and we can call those testing buttons and what i'm going to do is on the testing button i'm going to call flip flop and for this i'm going to say change ability level with tag and call this on the b also and for this i'm going to call that same health regen character ability health regen okay and this one is going to be health regen for the first press i'm going to change this to level 5 so our health regen is at 120 and for the flop i'm going to do this at level 0 so our health is changed by 6 okay and let's actually change our initial health to a very low value so we can visualize this effect let's change this to like 10 okay and what i also want to do is for the time being remove the cooldown from this okay let's do some print string so that it's more easy to see what I'm going to do is drag out from here and say um, this is going to be level 5 and print it level 1, level 0 rather. Okay, so remember that our ability is being initialized at level 0 initially. When I press the key, it's going to be initialized at level 5, rather changed at level 5. Okay, so I press the 1 key, it's increasing my health by 6. I press the key, it's at level 5, I press the key again, yes, my health is increasing by 120. So basically you're going to call this function whenever you want to change your abilities that have already been acquired. For example, a user want to upgrade their ability with their scale points or something like that. You're going to call this function from your UI and grant the ability at the new level. Instead of removing the ability and applying again, you can use this function to apply, uh, change the ability level with tags. Okay. And for our last example, what I want to do is actually declare this like a safe zone so that our character cannot use his melee ability once he is inside of this zone. So just for testing it, we are going to go to our env folder, create a new blueprint class, and a song that actor is going to be safe zone. Okay, open this up. First, we are going to do a plain. Make this a bit bigger. Just do three. Okay, and we're going to do a box collision. Change the size of this. It's going to be 150. 50 and 40. And I right, should. Sure. Okay. So what I'm going to do is on begin overlap. I'm going to cast this to 
db underscore base character okay and from here i'm going to say remove ability with tag for this i'm going to remove my melee ability but i'm going to keep my make way and health regen just to differentiate it okay and drag this actor out over here Okay, so once I walk over here, my melee ability should be removed and it should be kept permanently removed because I haven't declared on end overlap to acquire the ability once again. Okay, and let's test this out. I can do my melee ability. Okay, so once I walk over this, I can no longer activate my melee ability because it has been removed from my character. Okay, and the last function that you can check is those setter functions that should not be used but I'm going to just demonstrate them so I'm going to call that testing button 2 and for this I'm going to say set health values and we change this to um, let's do like 120 by 120 so you're going to show us full health instead of uh, like 10 health when I press the key Let's test this out. So I healthy that and 10 out of 200. I press the key and my health is now 200 by 200. Okay. So we're going to discuss those two functions. Um, those function I apply the spec to target data. This is going to be used in uh, what's it called projectiles, and we're going to discuss it in a future video. But for now. Uh, we're going to just ignore this and focus on these functions. So this covers some of the basic functions that you may require and another function that you may require is cancel cancel ability with tag this one and with tag and without tag is that any ability with these tags will be cancelled and or any ability without uh, these tags are going to be cancelled. So you might want to use these functions for some cutscenes or sequencers or some areas that you might want uh, the abilities to be disabled or should not be uh, activated any longer now this is not going to prevent them from being blocked rather this is going to cancel any active abilities that are activated at the time okay just remember the difference between this one and the removed uh, ability function okay so this is it for this video thank you very much